Hey there, everybody. My name is Kadema. Welcome back for another video of Star Wars The Old Republic. Boys, we're going to continue this series. It's going to be uh, interesting to see what we uh, have to do. We're going to continue with a brand new expansion, boys. Uh, filler, really. Filler. Uh, you already know that Star Wars, for me, this game is just filler. Waiting for until there's new stuff happening and stuff like that, right? So we'll see what happens, I guess. The screen turned to black for there, uh, there for some reason. I don't know what happened, but uh, let's figure out what we have to do. We got a bunch of companions. They've got missions that we can do for them, but I'm not doing those, obviously. So we're going to uh, jump into L, I believe. That's the mission, the, the thing mission, conquest, codex, missions. We don't have actual missions that we can do. Okay, let me see. Uh, where do I go exactly? Maybe I gotta get out of here. I think I gotta get out of here. Because there is, uh, I, I know uh, there's obviously other expansions and stuff like that. We just gotta look for it. Now, I do know about the whole Avengers game thing. About the game, I still can't figure out how to play the beta, boys. Is, there, is the beta still a thing? Or has everyone literally recorded this pre uh, uh, prior? to this like uh, pre-recording stuff and stuff like that because I don't know what to do right here I tried to launch the game and it doesn't work there's no beta it says there's no beta there's no anything I am gonna get the game early but I'm not like I don't have the beta on it's not a thing for me so maybe I have to ask the developers or something I'm not like I, I'm not that big of a deal I'm not big enough of a deal to ask the uh, developers to give me a, a code a key for the your game early boys uh, I'm kind of uh, on the fence on this one so I'm just gonna wait it out I guess wait for the actual game to come out I'm not you're gonna post any videos on the actual stuff right so let me uh, go ahead and just discover all these looting right here boys and I'll, I'll figure out where the actual startup of the mission is all right boys Found out what I had to do, just had to go back to my ship and launch the next expansion, which is Fractured Alliance. That's what it's called. So let's jump right into it and see what this story is all going to be about. Uh, there's some pinpoints here and there. I've played only now from then on these uh, next expansions. There's three more expansions coming up uh, with this one, including so there's only I've only played these once. So I don't, I'm not going to remember too much. I remember one of the plot points. Uh, I'm not going to tell you guys, but uh, the, most of it, I don't really remember what it's all about. So it's going to basically be a new surprise for me as much as for you guys. Worlds across the galaxy so we'll see how it is. Tribute, and everyone respects your authority as emperor. Well, almost everyone. Well, There's we can't please anyone. Cool. What are your orders? Another rebellion is the cool. Negotiate, deliver a warning. Destroy them. There's no there's no space for rebellions here. Make an example of the rebels. Turn their hideout into a smoking crater. If you say so. You're holding out on me, Theron. What's the status of our mission to Iocath? I was saving the best for last. Lana should be closing in on the super weapon right about now. Alright then. So maybe we can find out if, uh, if we can finally get the uh, super weapon for ourselves. That would be great. That guy looks badass, by the way. That cyber guy over there. Right behind Lana. Come in, Lana. How's the radiation sickness treating you? It's nothing I can't handle. Isn't that right, C6? That's a weird-ass droid. <laughs> Lana equals full of herself. Let's keep our eye on the prize. Any sign of a super weapon, Lana? According to the intel we received, it should be just up ahead. Stand by. We're just scavenging for it, I guess, right now. So I've got Lana looking for the super weapon while Terran's doing his thing, uh, figuring out what's going on with the other planets around uh, under my control and everything. And obviously. He's in full control of the cool. I'm trusting him to do what I ask him to do, that's for sure. Which is crush Target the goddamn located. rebellion. Commencing scan. Power levels are off the charts. And rising by the second. Incredible. Contact! 
the hell? Repug Republic's here. They start shooting at us. What is this? This is the declaration, uh, declaration of war right there. I've got company. Are you serious right now? What's the Republic doing here? The, the Empire as well. They must be after the super weapon. Everyone's after the super weapon, boys. It's an all-out warfare, free for all, right now. War has broken out Get again. Lana back online. Hurry. Working on it. Yeah, I haven't wasted time at all, boys. Don't worry, I lost them. Lost who? The Skip Empire and the Republic. They're on Iacath, and they appear to be fighting for control of the super weapon. No, they're not. Because this is my weapon, and it's not theirs to control at all. I'll put an end to this. Yeah, that super weapon is mine. If they go into my, uh, if they go against Every me, Nero they're dead. Every belongs to me, from the smallest bolt to the largest super weapon. The Republic and Empire know that. They just don't care. Why would they risk everything over this one super weapon? According to my scans, it's more powerful than anything we've ever encountered. More powerful than the Eternal Throne? Quite possibly. If the Republic or Empire claim it, they would usurp the Eternal Alliance as the dominant power in the galaxy. The fallout would be catastrophic. It sounds like my kind of weapon, uh, then. We should get our hands on it quick. Between the Eternal Throne and this super weapon, I could conquer entire star systems before breakfast. But first, we will need to secure it. We'll meet you on Iocath, Lana. Head for the fleet spire and start clearing a landing zone. Understood. I'll see you soon. Ships of the Eternal Fleet, converge on Iocath immediately and await my orders. We have a war to win. Let's go. We're going to war against these two. Against the Republic and the Empire, boys. Ain't nobody's fucking my, with my super weapon. And this is my planet too, so... I put a dead zone on this planet. Hello, and everybody's Lance. going there. You're looking as oh, they're gonna... As they're gonna for, uh, for the miss that, Republic boys. Fleets, aren't attacking each other. fleets are not even Hello. attacking each other. That's interesting. What the hell's going on? Something is scrambling our weapon systems. It's coming from the planet's surface, near the super weapon. Oh, no wonder they're not attack. They can't attack each other. That's why there's no fight going on. It's all on the uh, on the ground that the fight is happening. The Eternal Fleet's offline, Commander. They can't help us. Cut. All right. We'll have to do it ourselves. We need to fix this. Then, yeah, we just improvise. Tell the Gemini captains to find a workaround. In the meantime, we'll head to the surface and establish a landing zone. Good call. If there's any way to help our fleet, we'll find it on Iocath. We're going in. Let's go, boys. There ain't no way they're going to take my planet or my, my weapon right there. This is mine. Interesting little um, story so far, boys. Looks like the Empire and the Republic, obviously... It wasn't gonna last forever, the truth and everything. Uh, we were only the only thing really holding them together. And we don't really care about them that much, uh, to be honest. We're trying to control the galaxy for ourselves. We're basically... We're just like Valkorion. We're not, we're not no different than the previous leaders that were on the throne. So there's not a lot that we... Uh, that they can do about it. All that's gonna happen really is just us controlling the world eventually. Let's go uh, get out of here and uh, start doing this. What, what is this? Gotta face that droid right there. All right, boys. Okay. I just got smoked to hell right there. We're good though. We're gonna defeat that droid big time. I don't think I need to use my heroics right here. Now this might be weird for video, boys, because it's probably gonna be the first and only video for a while about this game <laughs> when we're starting a brand new expansion, which is interesting 
The thing is, why I'm saying that is because obviously I'm counting on having as soon as possible uh, playing Total War, which is coming up, boys. So it's coming up pretty uh, pretty quick uh, this week. So we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen with this game that I'm playing right now, the filler game. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna continue to play Old World, even though I'm having a lot of tough times right now. My videos keep keep getting corrupt. I I, I can fix it. I just don't know how for how long I can just keep having to fix it. You know, I, I want to be able to just do a video and not worry about having to fix the problems every time. So let's just uh, hope that uh, the uh, the next old world games uh, or videos are going to be fine because I really don't want to have to worry about uh, any bullshit right now. Let's go in. We got to I obviously kill all these little droids and I guess upload some stuff, control a bunch of uh, monitors and all, so we'll just do our thing right here, boys. Just regular old RPG, MMORPG right there. Really the only MMORPG that I've ever truly played to the, its fullest uh, potential. I've never really played uh, WoW, right? I'm not a fan of WoW at all. Might be one of the only ones in the world who is not a fan of that game. Uh, it's a bit too fantastical for me. And plus, the only reason I, I really don't generally like MMOs. Because it's it's kind of, it gets boring at points. Because you get, um, you have to do always the same thing. You run around mo most of the time. Grinding, it's all about grinding basically. And I'm not a, someone that grinds a lot, boys. I'm more of a, a, a guy that plays through the story and that's about it really I'm not really uh, the type of to grind on games so that's why MMOs are not my favorite types the, uh, but the reason why I, I love this is probably one of the, more, the only MMOs that I've ever considered playing to the um, to the top all the way through and I actually did is because it's a Star Wars game it is a fantastic one at that, boys. If you take some time to play this game, you have your proper character and everything set up. I mean, you can have a lot of fun just playing. This game is really replayable. You can replay this game so much, so many times. Now, there's a few classes that obviously are not that good. Uh, they're not that fun to do, but most classes in general are pretty fun. It's just one of these, these games that is just fantastic. It's just fun to do overall and i think we can uh we can have a lot of fun right uh, i can have a lot of fun playing this game and stuff like that we've already had a lot of fun before let's uh get rid of that beacon and stuff like that there we go one out of two boys hopefully we can get uh past this uh, droid i don't think i'm gonna have to fight that big droid which is a relief because that's gonna save us some good time right there Let's uh, travel to the next location. All right, here's the next location, the terminal. It's one of the terminals. I just got to basically defeat these two droids right here. Like I was saying right here, boys, uh, before, it's basically, I, I don't like, usually I don't like uh, our MMOs, but for this one, I don't know. There's something special about this one that uh, pulls me in. Uh, it's probably just because it's Star Wars, but then again, it's just all the lore and everything. I'm such a big fan of Star Wars that I guess the lore behind it just pulls me in, really. And ha makes me want to play this game more and more every time, right? It pulls me back in. Even though uh, there's some low points because it's an MMO and stuff like that. Uh, there's always high points that are really high and uh, that's... That's just fantastic, really. That just allows you to really go uh, get into the game and stuff like that. Uh, other MMOs that I've played, obviously aside from that, was the Lord of the Rings MMO back a while ago. It was a lot of years ago, like maybe 10 years or so ago. Uh, I've actually played the, um, tried out at least, the uh, Lord of the Rings MMO, which I don't know if it's still a thing. It probably is. But uh, back then, it wasn't too much of a game. It wasn't really that impressive. Uh, maybe I'm not... Like, I'm a big fan of Lord of the Rings as well. But maybe not as much as I am for Star Wars. So maybe I wasn't into it. I don't know, boys. But 
it what it felt kind of weird like there's it's not the same way like all mmos are kind of have the same type of 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 uh, general uh, gameplay and stuff like that but um there's something different about this one that i'm playing compared to the other ones in general the other ones are more based on two like three of these uh, uh wow is probably the only one that's close to this graphic wise right graphic wise i feel like this is the best uh looking game for an mmo really it's it really is boys the other ones are kind of generic and or they don't really have good graphics they're kind of default graphics and stuff like that which it's not too good when you're looking to be immersed in the game right so that's what I'm trying to do right here. I'm gonna uh, take care of the two uh, Drop, next record. locations real Expose. quick. Because this is. Looks like it's gonna take some time here. Alright, boys, we're gonna have to fight that little monster right here. I went ahead and equipped the last uh, thing, the last uh, beacon or whatever uh, and all. But uh, there's one more beacon that I gotta equip, install, or whatever we're doing here. So I just gotta get past that droid right here, uh, so I told myself why not show it to you guys while we're at it because there's a lot of stuff going on right here. Let me just uh, do all of this, there we go. Fantastic, and we got him. We got that droid. Now we can finally equip the last one. It, it felt like a really long mission, this one. Holy shit. Just me running around, around killing a bunch of droids, really. Which is always what it's all about. And now we're going to the main room. I guess I'm gonna unlock uh, this right here. I need it. There we go. What is uh, what was was it that I unlocked right there? Iocaf power shorts. I don't know what they're used for. I'll just take them. I guess I don't. Uh, I don't know why I wouldn't take them. So let's just go in, boys. Really, there's only one place to go now. All right, we're in, boys. Let's go. There's the last terminal. I feel like uh, this should be it. The one that we need in order to control the, the whole station and stuff like that let's see what uh, what we got right here can i interact with this yes i can let's see what i can do boys nice so we got the terminal defeat the iocaf terminal network droid that thing right there we'll finish it uh nice and quick then let's go let's finish that thing nice and quick boys wait hold on oh shit! don't tell me it's one of these Oh, it's got one of these shits. Okay. Let me just go ahead and take care of... Uh, what the fuck? Hold on now. Hold on now. There we go. Let me take care of these two bad boys. Wait, what? What's going on here? This one's powering it up. Oh, it's got... Okay, I see what I gotta do. I see what I gotta do, boys. Keeps tracking me down, boys. That's ridiculous. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right here. Do a lot of damage to him. Don't let him protect his uh, goddamn ma mother or something. What the hell? Go back here. Let's go. Equip that shit and get out of here. No. Get out of there before he tracks me again. Yeah, there we go. And we got it. Okay, so first droid down. Another one to go, boys. Oh, fuck. He's tracking me. That's ridiculous. Let's go, go, go. No, no, no. Before he... Go, 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 put that shit in. There, go, freezing being. I don't care. Get in there. Come on, dude. All right, I think it's just, it's this one. I put on the right, wrong one, and now I'm stuck forever. I don't know what's going on here. It just froze me to death for, for five seconds. Okay, you, just, you motherfucker, man. I swear. If you will stop doing that shit. Grapple, all right. You know, it's gonna be like that, really. I can't even move from the other side, boys. It keeps, uh,. Popping out some stuff on me. That's ridiculous. Let's go, boys. No, don't get that shit on me, man. Don't freeze me. Don't get on me now. Come on now. Stop. Where's Terran? What is Terran doing, man? He's got to be the tank right here. Uh, roll selection. You got to be the tank, my guy. Come on. Get the fucking thing going on right here. You got to be the one doing the... Uh, uh, the the damage control. What is what is he going after me for? What the fuck's going on, boys? All right, let's go. Let's attack this uh, this one right here. I swear, if he grapples me again, I'm gonna lose my mind. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? You must be out of your goddamn mind. I'm gonna fucking kill you. 
That's what's gonna happen right here. That's what's gonna happen, my guy. You keep con uh, dra grappling me. I'll stay with you and I'll kill you. I swear, I was trying to be gentle about it. Why am I gonna be? Let's keep pulling that shit up, boys. There we go. This one's down. All right, you wanna go after me? Let's go. I'm all in. Let's do it. Okay, he's protected. So now we gotta do this one. He's probably gonna go pull up the same, the same stuff. To do grapple anything. Hopefully he doesn't. I think uh, he's not gonna do it. I think it was only the middle one that was doing that shit. So we're lucky, boys. We just had to take out the middle one first then. God damn. That shit was ridiculous. And Terran, I put you as a tank. I couldn't change you? Oh, he didn't change him. I don't know why. But I, I put it uh, like uh, Terran as the tank and he didn't do the job. So I don't know what, what happened there. I'm gonna switch him up to a tank right now. I think it's while you're in combat you can't do that. So I should probably think about that now that I think about it. Put him as a tank when we're facing against uh, big bosses and stuff like that. I should probably do that, boys. I'm gonna keep him as a tank for now, though. See where we gotta go right here? A lot of directions. Look at this. Look at these sky troopers that we've got. They look awesome. Man, these new uh, new branding for our sky troopers, they really look awesome. They're all golden and stuff. I love that. I love me some golden sky troopers, that's for sure. Meet with Lana. Let's go, let's do it. Commander. Welcome back to Ayaka. Good to see you. What a miserable world. Are these uh, your prisoners? Don't be rude, Lana. Introduce me to your friends. Commander, meet the assassins I captured. Interesting. I told you I'm no assassin. I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Elara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I couldn't say it's the same for me, though. Careful, Commander. You'll slip on the fawning Captain Slobber. Who are you? Major Quinn. Advises the Empress and loyal servant of the Sith Empire. Like Captain Dawn, I come bearing a message. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you. In private. Empress has seen a request the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. So what is this about? What, why, what do they want? Patch them both through. They're afraid of me. I feel so popular. <laughs> They're both afraid of me. Admit it. Your masters are too scared to meet me in person. It's respect, not fear, that motivates Empress Asina. Malcolm's eager for a face-to-face. -face. It's the Sith company he's trying to avoid. Set up the call. Let's see what your masters have to say for themselves. What do they want? I've got better things to do with deal uh, to deal with your Thank shit, you boys. For extending the Empire this honor, Commander. If it is Satil's husband. And my son, on Ayoka. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough. Supreme Commander Malcolm. Empress Asina. Your armies have started a war over a super weapon of immeasurable power. I should destroy you for this. Yeah, I should just destroy you both for this. And started a world on my world. This is a no go. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't turn my eternal fleet on you both. I can explain, but I won't apologize. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The super weapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm going to watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood, but that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon and all of Iocath. I don't like sharing. How about I keep it all to myself? Iocath belongs to the Eternal Alliance. Why should I share any part of it with you? Consider it payment for driving off the Imperial looters. This is preposterous. The Empire openly supported your Eternal Alliance while the Republic watched from the sidelines. You once hunted prey in the name of the Empire. Now you can renew that contract. 
What are you proposing? Let's crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iocal. I don't want any allies. I don't want any allies. Why should I side with either of you when I can strike out alone and take the super weapon for myself? Yeah. Iocath is extremely dangerous. As strong as we are, we won't survive a week for fighting both armies for control of the world. Especially with the Eternal Fleet stuck in the mud. We can achieve great things, but only if we work together. Say the word, and my forces will join your offensive. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? But I don't know. We're forced to make a choice between them. So if I would have made a choice, I would have made a choice to not ch to just attack them both. But as they point out, we don't have the fleet. It's not working right now because of the whole thing. But if we get the fleet working, there's no problem, man. We can take them both out. I don't give a fuck about the fleet anyways. I can both take them, the entire armies down by my bare, foot, uh, bare hands. You can get out of here and uh, leave me alone, all right? If I'm going to work with anyone, I'm going to work with the Empire. It's as simple as that. We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. You're more loyal than I thought. Don't do it. For the Republic. <clears throat> she got away. We'll deal with her later. Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Lana, Major Quinn, defend the fleet spire while we hold off the Republic. May the Force serve us all. May it do that. Because now we're officially at war with the Republic, boys. Let's go. We're working with the Empire. I decided that that uh, was the best decision for us to do that. Obviously, I don't think the Republic would have given me anything at all. What do they have to offer to me? Jedis? Bunch of bullshit. I hate Jedis. Sith Empire has always worked for me, always paid me well. I think like uh, it's, a, it's a good thing if we work together, right? I could be the new Emperor like uh, Valkyrian was, so... We'll do that, boys. We'll do that. Let's uh, go into the Imperial base. All right, we're going to Imperial base right here. Let's see what we got. Uh, where is it at? Uh, right here. Okay, so before we go in... So the video's got to get pretty long already. It's pretty crazy the fact that... Um, it started right away. And he really thought I wasn't loyal to anybody. What are you talking about, man? I've been working with the Sith Empire forever now. What do you think I'm going to switch to the Republic all of a sudden? You must be r out of your mind. Alright, so remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, boys. I'm going to leave it for right now. Uh, keep it easy.